Morning, a major warning about a deadly bacteria that could be lurking in your doctor's office. It's called C. difficile. Normally, you would find it in hospitals. Lately, people have been getting the bug from a doctor or even a dentist's office. And get this, alcohol gels and wipes do not get rid of C. diff. It's what it's called for short. While the CDC is trying to figure out why, they've been best advised to always wash your hands with soap and water. Scary. It's not just deadly bacteria you need to worry about when you visit the doctor these days. That's right. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck joins us live. And Sarah, can you really get sick from being in a waiting room? Absolutely, you can. And here's why those doctor's offices and all these surfaces and magazines that you see here, they can hold a germ for seven to eight hours. That means if you walk into the doctor's office, you're feeling just fine, but the person next to you sneezes, achoo, you can now get sick. The first thing parents see when they walk into Premier Pediatrics in Overland Park is two waiting rooms, one for sick kids and one for those going in for a checkup. Some of those respiratory and flu and vomiting germs are just, they're just tough germs and they can hang out and still cause infection. So we just, we try to take those extra precautions to protect our patients. Those extra precautions mean wiping down tables and chairs every hour. And one that's not so popular with the little ones pulling toys, books, and magazines from the waiting rooms. During the months of really November through probably May, those books will be on vacation. They're being stored inside this closet in crates until after the flu season. Dr. Winburn Antivoni has the tough job of explaining to her little patients where those items went. We reassure them that they are well and they're just having a little rest period and they'll come back in the summer when a lot of the ugly germs have gone away. A new study in the journal Infection Control found kids and adults are at a high risk of catching the flu up to two weeks after they visit a doctor's office. And it's costing us. Nationwide, the study found families are spending $500 million a year in unexpected medical costs from the common cold and the flu. You don't want to spread that from one poor family who's here with one thing today. Three days later, you don't want them to come back with another illness that they hadn't intended. Now, here's the thing. If doctor's offices were to clean better, they could actually avoid 800 thousand cases of the flu every single year. That's just by cleaning better. Another thing that they recommend, bring in your kids' own toys from home, and then as soon as you get home, wipe them off. That way you know that those germs are solely the ones of your child. Reporting here in Kansas City, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, 41 Action News.